Hey everybody, Smitty here again. Uh, I'm making the video that I told you guys yesterday and probably the day before, or uh, the video before that, that I was going to make about our sales. Um, for actually, it's been about 11 days since I did a video of what we've sold, so uh, I thought I would go ahead and go through that. We've actually had quite a few sales. Our sales are up. The, the average cost is down a little bit, but... Um, it actually has evened out on how much we sold. I started out with a lot of a computer equipment, um, a lot of laptops and things like that that um, I was able to sell and get rid of. Um, and I've sold a couple more here and there, but these ones that I have left are kind of ones that need a little work or they're much older. So um, it's actually been pretty good. So. Oh, there is a laptop actually in this this set that I just sold. I had just listed it, and actually it only took about two days, and it sold. But it was actually pretty cheap, considering. Um, but let's get right into this. So uh, the first set of sales is all of our eBay sales, and then I'm going to go through our Macari sales, if I forget to say it again. And then I'll go through um, our one Poshmark sale. So that's number three since uh, we started reselling. So the ratio isn't so great, but it is what it is. At least we're selling some stuff on there. So, uh, the f and everything is not going to be necessarily in order. eBay is, but Macari kind of jumps around when you uh, go through it. So I I'm going to try and make it to where it's uh, right. I got my little list here to tell me what to go through. So... Um, the first thing actually on eBay that we sold was on 225, uh, February 25th, uh, was a gold curtain, blackout curtains that, um, I actually purchased at Daily Deals, uh, for $7. The first time I ever went there, I don't know, a week or two after they opened, um, <clears throat> excuse me. And so we actually sold that curtain, uh, it was a really large curtain. I don't remember the measurements, but they, it was pretty big. Uh, it was gold and or gold triangles and white. Um, they were actually pretty cool and really, really heavy. Um, and we sold those for $16.50, uh, and I paid $7 for it. So it wasn't a huge profit. We maybe made $14, $13 or $14 on that um, with eBay fees. So... Um, at least it still almost doubled our money on that. Uh, that one wasn't a, a great buy, but it was still, it, it took a couple months and they sold. So, and then the next one is uh, actually an old hat that I bought in probably 1994, 1995-ish. Um, not even in California, and it sold on uh, February 25th as well. Um, it was a hat that had a, it's just said chronic on it in red letters and had a marijuana leaf on it. Um, this was when the, uh, the original Dr. Dre chronic, uh, CD came out, the rap CD. So, um, I purchased it back then cause I was really into that stuff and it actually sat on a shelf all these years. I maybe wore it a handful of times. Um, and so I've had it ever since and it finally sold for $23, um, plus shipping, everything's still plus shipping. Um, so that was actually all profit. Um, that was something that we already had and I don't remember, I probably only paid maybe $10 for that back then. Um, cause if I remember right, I bought it off a... A little street vendor that also sold uh, jackets and speakers and all kinds of things back then when people could just set up little booths in a parking lot and sell whatever they wanted so um, and then our next thing was actually a Samsung Galaxy 2 phone that sold on February 25th as well 
Um, that was also something that I've had sitting in a box for years and years, considering that we're up to a Samsung Galaxy S21, I believe. <clears throat> so, um, that sold for $18, um, and again, that was something that I already had, so it was pretty much all profit for that one. And then we go to um, February 27th, we sold, it's a Team Losi uh, remote control car. There was a mini desert truck and the LST model. So it was two remote control trucks um, with a bunch of parts and both had the controllers, two chargers, three batteries. Uh, it was just, I lotted those two up because they went together and I didn't even know if they worked anymore. I know that at one point I had um, crashed the truck and I think had messed up some of the suspension. So hence the uh, little packages of parts. Um, some of the packages were actually suspension parts for it. Um, but those trucks were actually really nice. One had dual motors, the other one had single motors. And actually the dual motor one, I believe went up to 55 miles per hour um they were actually pretty nice but i i just don't have the want to be messing with remote control cars anymore so um i actually had those listed for 200 um somebody offered me 160 for the the lot and i went ahead and accepted because i didn't know if they worked but um i didn't want to mess around with uh trying to figure that out and I thought that was a really good offer and went ahead and took it. And again, those have been sitting around for years. So it was pretty much all profit. Um, and I really didn't know what I was going to get out of that. I found a couple of them, never any that were lots. So it was actually, I thought, a pretty good deal. Um, and then February 28th, I sold uh, one of my printers that I bought on auction. It was the HP 7855 printer. Uh, it was working but needed ink um so i wasn't able to actually test the printing um i th had that listed for 45 and somebody just snatched it up um, and i only paid five dollars for it so that was a good profit out the door we probably made a, a 35 dollar profit on that printer um, so that was really good and then here's the uh for about three days we didn't have any sales from what it, uh actually we had a couple sales on Macari but no sales on eBay for about 3 days um or on the third day we had sales and so I sold that Toshiba laptop that I was talking about um it was just a little 14 inch laptop it was actually the case was all purple and I'll pop everything up on the screen of course um so that you guys can see it and that one, um, it actually came to me, it was given to me because uh, when I was doing computer repair, the uh, person had spilled milk in it, um, which was super bad. And uh, thankfully, it wasn't a lot. Um, it did ruin the keyboard, um, but it did make a little more damage as time went by. Um, but thankfully on the top of the motherboard in that laptop, it actually had a plastic film. So minimal liquid got into the, the unit itself other than inside the keyboard. Um, and so I replaced the keyboard in it and the user or the customer, I should say, decided they just didn't want to mess with it. They didn't want to pay for any of it. And they said, just keep it. You can have it as long as you don't charge us for the work you did do, um, then you can have it. So I paid myself, I believe I paid like $22 uh, for the keyboard and got it all replaced. I upgraded the RAM in it. Um, it did still have the original hard drive, but one of the memory slots did not work on it. So it must have gotten a little bit of damage on that that little portion of the motherboard um so it would only read one chip even though it had two slots so um 
So I actually listed all of this in the my description and well, not all of it, not the things I did to it, but just that the RAM slot didn't work and uh, the keyboard had been replaced. So um, I actually had that lift listed for $70 um, and somebody offered me 55 for it. Um, and I took it, I listed it actually a little bit high considering its issues, but, uh, and actually the battery didn't work at all. Um, it needed a new battery. So they offered me $55. Um, and so I took it, that was on March 3rd. And again, that was all profit. So I probably came away with, um, because I've had that I don't know, probably eight or nine years at least. I probably made about $50 profit considering everything. Um, and then the next thing was um, one of my son's things that he wanted to sell was on March 3rd as well. Uh, Disney Pixar cars. Um, they are actually little cars uh, made by Disney. That Two of them were like it was Lightning McQueen, Tex, and then another car. Like the blue one, I think. I can't remember. Sorry. I'll pop it up on the screen, though. Um, but those actually had little paddles on the, the wheels, and you can um, wind them up and let them roll. They will roll in the water. They're actually pretty cool. Um so the set of three we sold for $12. Um, again, that's something that we already had and we just listed. My son wanted to sell them. So we probably made about, he made about $10 because uh, we're giving him that money for that. And then um, we actually sold our last Keurig Patriot Blue coffee maker um, on March 6th. I had it listed for $80. Uh, somebody made an offer for $69. And I went ahead and took it. That was only 11 bucks, and I only paid $10 for it. Um, so all in all, we probably made about $50 on that sale, um, which is actually pretty good for a, a coffee maker. Um, and then I sold one of my old uh, rap CDs again. Uh, it's Bone Thugs in Harmony, uh, the collection, volume one. Uh, this is without the case. Um, this is also on March 6th. Uh, we sold that for $10 um, in relatively good condition. Uh, aside, it was, aside from it being only in a slim jewel case without the, the book or anything or artwork. So... Uh, like I said, it was $10, so that was, we probably made like an $8 profit on that, maybe $8.50, um, but it was all profit, so that's good. Uh, and that's actually the end of our eBay sales uh, for the last 11 days. And then, uh, let's see, we've got some, actually on um, February 26th, we, I sold, it's called Mine Tan Super Dark Violet Tan. It's spray tan. Um, I got it actually at the uh, Daily Deals bins um, on 25 cent day. So like I said, that sold on February 26th for $13.00. So we only paid a quarter for it. Um, so all in all, that's probably $11 profit. Um, maybe 12, considering we only paid a quarter for it. So that's actually was a really good sale. And then um, looks like on February 27th, we sold our Cases 3 guitar bag. Um, and that actually was something that was left over from when my parents were here. Uh, they didn't have any more guitars. My dad had had two guitars, I believe. He sold both guitars, but not the case. I think it had been stuck away in a closet or something. So um, they just left it with us. So I've had it for almost eight years now. And uh, we sold that 
online for seventeen dollars um somebody just bought it and so that was all profit so we probably made about fifteen dollars profit on that one um and then we have <clears throat> oh the brand new t-mobile um motorola flip phone that i found stuck in a drawer in my garage or actually a cabinet in my garage when i was cleaning things up it was actually still brand new in the box with the brand new sim card that had never been taken out of the package the book had never been taken out of the package the plastic cover that they put over the face of the phone was still on there everything was wrapped in its original packaging uh, the only thing was the box had been opened um not quite sure where that came from but uh all in all somebody bought that up actually i listed it and by the next day it was gone um and so we sold that at on february 27th for 20 dollars um so we probably with fees and everything uh, that's plus shipping so with fees we probably made uh 18 or 19 dollars on that um see a trend here i'm selling a lot of our stuff that we already had which is super cool um it's allowing me to go out and spend a little more money on stuff that we didn't have that might make us a little more profit and you know grow the business so that's super good and then we've got uh looks like on three one so march 1st uh, we sold that second uh, western digital three terabyte purple surveillance drive and uh so that one actually it had already sold on ebay i sent it to the user the user said that it there was an error on it and it didn't work and i'm not sure why so they sent it back i tested it again and windows didn't show any errors or anything so i'm not sure what they were testing it with but uh it was working fine for me so i put it back on ebay refunded the the customer just went ahead and did it uh despite the fact that it worked i didn't try to haggle with them or send it back or anything like that uh, i just relisted it and actually the same person um on Macari that bought it my first one bought this second one so they apparently liked the first one and then they've already gotten it gave me a review and and they're happy with it so I'm happy that worked out really well uh, and then it looks like that was 3-1 and then we have another 3-1 uh, actually, I had uh, an HP uh, authentic HP USB-C power adapter for laptop um, that uses USB-C as the, the power source. And um, so I had one of those laying around that sold on March 1st as well for $30 um, plus shipping. Again, that was an item that I already had laying around, a computer part um and so that stuff sells really well for me uh apparently uh, i sell a lot of older stuff or computer things that people are in need of there's probably broke or you never know the cat dog chewed it up they needed a new one so uh um, that was probably 28 27 28 dollars of pure profit for me um and then we've got on 3-2 March 2nd um, I sold those uh, salt and pepper shakers the pioneer woman um, bread loaf and toaster um, that we bought I don't know I bought it at the flea market the weekend before that so I think it was like the 26th or 27th those were only listed for maybe three or four days um, and somebody shot me an offer. I believe I had those listed for 45 
and somebody shot me an offer for 40 on those and I went ahead and took it. I only paid $5 at the flea market for those. Um, so that is actually a pretty good profit um, for those small little salt and pepper shakers, but they were in super good condition. So I really liked those. Um, and then it looks like uh, we have, oh, we sold an uh, Amazon Echo Dot uh, second gen black um, for $10. And I got that on auction for a buck. Um, that one didn't have a cable. So um, we're probably at about $8 profit for that. It wasn't a huge profit, but all these smaller items, they add up. Um, and then it looks like I went through almost, oh, and again, on March 2nd, we uh, also sold a CMC Mint silver bar that actually was, on the back it said Girls Gone Wild, and on the front it had a silhouette of a woman uh, with her arms up, and, but it was a uh, one ounce little silver bar that had that on there, and it was vintage, uh, it's probably at least 20 years old. Um, it did have quite a bit of tarnishing on it. I don't know if I tried to clean it with some methods that I found online, but it is a possibility because my, my dad actually worked with a lot of chemicals and stuff that it may have actually burnt the top of it um, with something. So, because I believe it was his to begin with and he gave it to me a long time ago. Um, and so... That actually was still really nice and still an ounce of silver. So, um, and at $24 an ounce, that's that's pretty good. And most of those sold anywhere from $50 to $90 online. Um, so that one, the person bought it for $32. And uh, so that was pretty much pure profit, a $30 profit for that. Um, and then I'm pretty sure we've got, let's look, we've got two more um, for Macari. Oh, something that we got the Saturday previous was on, we sold them on March 6th. Um, they're a Nike Dry Fit Youth Baseball Pants. Um, we paid, I believe, about $2, uh, because everything was 50% off, so, um, and I didn't, I actually tried to get a receipt, and they never emailed it to me, so I don't know the particulars of each item, so I'm estimating about $2 for that item, um, and we sold those for $15, so it was about a $13 profit, um, $12 profit, something like that. The fees for that was were next to nothing on eBay uh, for that specific item. Um, so, and we sold that within a week of listing it. And then our last thing from Macari was I sold a vint vintage 1999 South Park PC game. Uh, still in the original case uh, with the artwork and the disc is immaculate uh it, it didn't have any scratches or anything on it um and those don't sell for a lot of money but uh like i said i've had that one forever um uh, it was another pc thing that i just had sitting around um it sold on the sixth for 18 dollars um and again that was mine so pretty much all profit probably made about 16 dollars on that and then we have uh, our one Poshmark sale, which is was a Hot Topic plaid women's button-up vest, uh, new with tags, uh, never worn, uh, was actually collared. It was super cute. Um, we paid a dollar for it at a yard sale. Um, and this actually sold on March 1st. I didn't tell you that part. Um, so we're, we probably made about $13 profit on that one, um, with eBay fees, maybe a little less, excuse me. And so that's pretty much wraps up all our sales. We had a two, uh, 
pending sales yesterday, uh, which would have been the seventh, I believe. Uh, I can't look at a calendar at the moment, but uh, so pending sales. One was uh, another old rap CD from uh, 1993, I believe. Uh, it's Tupac, All Eyes on Me, uh, two CD set. Um, the first CD works perfectly. The second CD is super scratched. It's really, really bad. And story behind that is we're driving around in my old car. I had had a stereo installed with some better speakers. I'm sorry, my nose itch is really bad. And uh, so me and my wife are driving along and I ask her to put in another CD. And she grabs the CD and goes to push it in and actually pushes it in the top between the dash and the stereo. And... I don't know how she shoved it all the way in there, but she did. She got it all the way in and we couldn't even grab it. So it's sitting on the top of the casing for the stereo. So eventually I finally pulled out the stereo, pulled out the insert for the stereo and got the disc out. And it was super bad, like really, really bad. I, it took talent for her to be able to do that. It was amazing. Um, so I actually bought a resurfacer the other day um, and got it and tried to resurface it, but that one was so bad that uh, it didn't really make a difference. But the person has not paid for it yet, unfortunately. So I will uh, see if they actually do. And then um, I showed you guys in one of my other videos from sourcing at Daily Deals on the 25 cent day again. I found another one of those canvases. Uh, this one is Minecraft Dungeons. Um, and the person actually purchased it day before yesterday, um, but didn't pay. And so I've already sent a reminder and they actually just responded saying that they'll be able to pay for it this afternoon. So. Hopefully they can get that done. I let them know, hey, if you get it done by 3 p.m. my time, Pacific time, then I should be able to get it out with my, my other things today. And then actually just about 20 minutes ago, um, actually 30 minutes ago, uh, <laughs> since this video is getting up to uh, close to 30 minutes now, um, we sold that uh, Victorian woman figurine with the harp. And uh, we actually accepted an offer, or actually somebody offered 23, or sorry, $21 for it. Um, and I countered with 24 because we had it listed for 35. And it's the only one like it that I could see online for sale right now. Um, and it is ceramic, not porcelain, but it's, it's very, very nice. It's in immaculate condition. Um, does not have a maker's mark, unfortunately, but it's still really nice. So, um, the person actually took the offer for $24 and paid for it. So we've already got the shipping label ready and we're, we're going to ship that out, but other than that, that is all of our sales for the last 11 days. Uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed. I will, again, you should have seen everything popped up on the screen showing the, the sales that I, that I went through for you. And uh, hit the like button and subscribe if you're new, please. Uh, it definitely will help me out to grow my channel and uh, give you more content. So uh, feel free to leave me comments or anything. Uh, I would enjoy to uh, interact with anyone. And Smitty out.